This is question number seven, and we are told the figure below represent a prism A B C D E F G H of length uh, six centimeter. Uh, the cross section uh, B C F G of the prism. This is B uh, C F G is a trapezium in which G F is eleven centimeter, uh, B C is eight centimeter and uh, we have uh, uh, bg is equals to five centimeter and uh, angle gfc uh, this is a gfc is equals to angle b angle is equals to b b uh, c f bcf is 90 so this is an uh, they are they are vertical uh, so we have a diagram here uh, correct to uh, calculate correct one decimal place the angle between the line FA and the plane GFEH and you get three marks. Uh, so here we have the plane. Uh, this is the plane. Uh, we can uh, so we need to calculate. Uh, this is the plane that we are, let me use a brighter color bit. Uh, this is uh, the plane. Let's identify that plane. Uh, that as a plane so that is a plane G F E H and the line F A is this one uh, we can use a different color there so is this one so the angle that we are required to find is the angle between uh, between this plane which is in lead and the line in green that is fa to to be able to get the 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 the, the angle there we need to find the angle between the plane and uh, the projection of fa the projection of F, fa will land there uh, so this is the angle that we are required to find uh, how do we get that angle we need uh, we need uh, some uh, calculations here and what we do is uh, we can draw a perpendicular we can draw a perpendicular here that is uh, we draw a line there so this angle we need uh, these sides to be able to uh, to calculate the angle between the angle required we can call it theta uh, so from there we will say uh, since we since gf and he are equal uh, we can say this is uh, uh, this is uh, three centimeter and this line here is eight centimeter this one in red that uh, uh, so we can be we can be and we have been given a h so we can be able to get the height there uh, so how do we get the height uh, we can use five and three since this is, will make an, an angle of 90 because of this side here to be able to get height so height is equals to the square root of 5 squared minus uh, 3 squared which should give us square root of 25 minus 9 is equals square root of 16 is equals 4 so what this means is that our we have our this is our 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 height our height here is 4 so if that 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 height is four, uh, then we can use it now to find uh, the other side. So this side is four, and here we have eight. This side is five. This side is six. So we need to get this side also, so that we can use the three ratios to to be able to uh, to be able to get the angle. So we can say uh, we can use the letter K. We can say FK is equals to uh, this is the, the KEF forms a right angle triangle. So we say FK is equals the square root of eight squared uh, plus six squared is equals to the square root of sixty four uh, plus thirty six, which is the square root of a hundred, and that will give you ten. So this means that F fk is 10 centimeter so we have now 4 and uh, 10 and this is this is a, 
uh, a right angle triangle we can use the three ratios so we say tan theta is equals to opposite 4 over adjacent which is 10 which is equals to 2 over 5 so we get tan inverse of 2 over 5 you use your calculator uh, you'll be able to get it is 21.8 degrees so the angle between the plane g f e h and the line f a is the angle between f a and its projection on the line uh, on the on the plane uh, that is there so that's how you work out that uh, which you cover this in form 4 so you should be comfortable getting uh, the angle between a line and a plane